shortly we will have the Diablo standard, which basically it lacks the carbon fiber bodywork and does not have these gorgeous wheels. When you get a chance to get up close to the motorcycle, take a look at it. They're absolutely phenomenal. They're pa gloss painted black and they're milled edges and, and uh, spokes. So are the front rotor carriers. Absolutely beautiful. So those are the distinctive features of the carbon. Carbon fiber bodywork and the high end wheels. But as you may have noticed in the motorcycle video, all versions of the Diablo carry the same equipment and performance. 162 horsepower and just under 100 foot-pounds of torque. And that is combined with the low gearing that it has, has given it the, the, the claim to be the fastest motorcycle to 60 miles per hour currently on the market, which is just under, just over two and a half seconds. <laughs> It is that fast. Uh, I've ridden it. Bo's ridden it. Uh, we will have a demo here shortly. Um, it is incredibly fast. Fantastic styling, but comfortable. That's the goal that Ducati wanted with this bike. A lot of people are attracted to the brand, the performance of the twin, uh, the race characteristics, but they want it to be able to tour on it, ride some distance, and not be, you know, hunched over the gas tank. Thus, the Diablo was born. Um, there's a lot of great technology. ABS is standard. Traction control is standard. And what you'll also get to see in a little bit is there are three driving modes on the motorcycle that alter horsepower, throttle response because it's fly-by-wire, and also the traction control sensitivity. That can all be done while you're moving down the road, which is pretty phenomenal technology in the new bike. Uh, but I encourage you guys to get a good look at it. Sit on it. The weight is unbelievable. What is the weight? Yeah, Dry weight on the carbon version is 456 pounds. Wow. It looks like a 700 pound bike. But when you get on it, bring it off the side stand, you will be pretty amazed. And yeah, it has a 240 rear tire, uh, which generally will take away from handling characteristics. Pirelli de developed this tire especially for this motorcycle so that it can handle, it can corner, you can go to track days if you want. So Ducati is all about performance, handling, speed, those sorts of things, and that was not something they were going to compromise on the bike. Well, Where's Christian Bale? <laughs> yeah, it does look like the Batmobile. Yeah. So when you want to go two up, you put your foot pegs down, you lift up this safety latch here, and you pull out the grab rail. It's really slick, it transforms the bike, and there is the seat actually is under this cover, so you take a screwdriver and the seat cowl comes off in 30 seconds. So you're ready for two up. That allows it to have the good looks, but also be functional. There are windshields available for it if you want to expand your riding with a motorcycle and do some trips. Um, there are tank bags, tail bags. Of course, there's Terminoni exhausts uh, to give you more horsepower and lighter weight. Um, so there's a lot of great stuff coming for this bike. We think we'll do very well with it. We think you all will like it. We encourage you all to ride the demo when we get it. Um, we'll get five this year. That's including our demo. So these are very limited. If you're looking to purchase one, I wouldn't suggest waiting. We'll get two red carbons. That's the other top tier version of the bike. Everything's carbon fiber, but you have red paint down the center instead of this matte finish in the, in the middle of the tank and fender. Um, and then bases will get uh, uh, two reds. One's a demo and one is for sale. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you have fun tonight. We'll keep the party going. Any questions? Yes. Yeah, yeah, sorry. on this bad boy? Yes. That's, that's a good question. Last thing you left out. Yep. The standards, okay, <laughs> the non-carbon versions, retail price is $16,995, okay? The carbon version, the black carbon, is $20,995, just under 21, okay? The red carbon, because of the paint process, is an extra 400, so that's 20,000, 21,400 for the red carbon. Um, so you get a lot of technology, a trend setting motorcycle. This is a brand new segment in the motorcycle industry. I think you guys are all going to love it. We love it.